safe list surfing is a method of promoting your splash page or offer on safe lists and doing it efficiently without spamming while tracking your ads and surfing activity. It is assumed that you have joined a number of safe lists, created your safe list groups and at least one safe list campaign. There are video tutorials on all of these tasks. Start by clicking on the safe list menu item on the left. This will bring up all of the safe list functionality within Extreme Surf Team. We want to safe list surf, so let's click on the safe list surf icon. Safe list surfing is a four step process. The first step is to select a safe list group that we want to start surfing. Uh, I've created a special group called 10K Challenge Group with only three safe lists in it. Um, and I am going to select that one before we start surfing it's a good idea to click on the details icon here and look at the um, safe lists that are part of that group and specifically to see if there are any safe lists that have no credits in this case we have one called get your ads read and in order to generate credits we would go to our email um, provider in this case it would be Gmail and I've already loaded Gmail into a separate browser so I'll bring that up I would do a search for that that um, that safe list it brings up a bunch of emails I would click one and I would click this but I'm not going to do that it's I never know what's going to come up there could be a video or audio that's that that would start and interfere with this tutorial so you would click on that it would generate credits after 20 seconds or so um, and you would continue to do that for all of your emails until you've generated enough uh, email credits to be able to uh, email to your safe list so let's go back to our um, extreme surf team and we are now ready to go on to step number two you do that by clicking the surf icon here the second step in this four-step process is to select a campaign and I have a 10k challenge number two campaign which I have one email message and I have no hits on so I will select it the third step, if you guessed emails and you're correct, we would select the email that we want to generate or send out. In this case, there's only one, so we're going to select it. Now that brings us to the last step in this process before we surf. There are two buttons that you have to be aware of. One is the start surfing button. When you click that, it's going to load all of the safe lists into separate tabs on your browser it does it with one click the second button you click when you've completed your surfing session because it will save certain information now what we have added to this particular page is a sp uh, spreadsheet that contains information that you can save for each of these safe lists and that is the number of emails sent the number of credits you have left and a multiplier the multiplier in this case um, is um, very rarely used and there are only one or two safe lists uh, that uh, require more than one credit per email sent and that's where you would use that that value also you will notice that you have in here the email itself which is the subject the body of the email and at the bottom here you have the specific cloaked link for this email all of this information is going to be required when you're surfing so we will start our surfing session by clicking the start surfing button and notice that it loads the the um, it loads the uh, values into uh, separate tabs 
Um, we'll start with the very first one and we'll start our surfing session. In this case we've already logged in and we would find the credit mailer and this is where that information that we have in our uh, Extreme Surf Team tab comes into play. We can go back and forth between between here and copy and paste this information in here. We would copy the body of the information, the body of the of the email in here. And this in the uh, target URL would be put into here. Now we have, in this case, we have 6,742 credits and we can send out to 500, 5,199. So we would put 5199 here because we have enough credits and we would copy that go back into here and we would put that value in here now we don't need to change that because the system will automatically deduct that from here and give you the next the correct credits left for the next time that you surf and once you've done that you hit the send button and that's that and you would go ahead and do that for each one of these groups and the next time that you um, that you go back in and surf again your information is updated once completed, you would click the record broadcast button and then you would then go on to the next um, the next uh, group that you want to surf. And that concludes the tutorial on how to safely surf.